Pierre Auguste Renoir's Luncheon of the Boating Party, one of his more popular works, hangs at the Phillips Collection. It has a story. There's a future fiancé, journalists, and other acquaintances among the figures here. Around the time Duncan Phillips was creating the nation's first modern art museum here in Washington, wealthy heiress and matron of the arts Sadie May of Baltimore was acquiring this little Renoir titled On the Banks of the Seine for her collection. It would eventually be loaned to the Baltimore Museum of Art. And then it disappeared. Its whereabouts unknown for decades until it turned up in the Shenandoah Valley flea market where it caught the eye of a woman looking over some boxes of trinkets. I originally bought it for the frame. She wants to remain anonymous, but fortunately she thought twice about ripping the painting out to salvage that frame. She learned of the painting's value, its authenticity vouched for. She put it up for auction. It was scheduled to be among the items at the Potomac Company auction this weekend. Then it was pulled after some important information was found. We are relieved that this information has come to light prior to the auction this weekend. What information is that, you say? Well, the painting had been stolen back in November of 1951, according to records uncovered by the Baltimore Police Department. Much research would determine that an insurer had paid for the loss, and the Potomac Company is meticulous about checking available registries to see that none of the works they come across are stolen. We contacted Art Loss Register, which is a London-based registry of stolen and missing art. Um, and then we also um, uh, looked at the FBI's list. But somehow this little piece of art had fallen through the cracks. You know, it's been 60 years since the painting was la last um, documented, so um, there's, there's a lot of research that needs to be done. So while the art world awaits answers to these questions, they may actually be answered by the folks in here, the Washington field office of the FBI, because yes, it's now a federal case. In Washington, Derek Ward, News 4.